Uh, what's up YouTube? I did a Q&A video a little bit ago um, asking for questions. Uh, here's the answers. Again, I usually don't get in no hurry to upload these because I'm a lazy fat fuck. But anyway, uh, it's honestly the weakest Q&A thread I've ever had. Even back when I had like a hundred subscribers, they used to be better than this. But Oh well, I guess when you stop watching other people's shitty videos, they stop watching your shitty videos. Which if you were only watching my shitty videos because I was only watching your shitty videos, then good, don't fucking watch my shitty videos anyway. That's why you don't sub for sub, kids, because you end up with a lot of inactive subscribers once you get tired of their bullshit videos. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I don't even watch a whole lot of fitness content anymore outside of a few people. Anyway, I ran over, get back to the Q&As. Um, Brandon Campbell, do you like Goya? I fucking love Goya, Brandon. Um, this was a reference to the Q&A video, by the way, where these cabinets back here were open, and I don't think the camera angle's quite right here, but my cabinet is loaded with motherfucking Goya beans, uh, candy beans, gondoles, black beans, chickpeas, uh, those of you who don't know, I lived with a Puerto Rican family the last half of my senior year of high school. Um, I am Team Goya. Goya with adobo and sazon. Get on that. Uh, <clears throat> I have two similar questions here. One from Eric1032 and one from Kier. Uh, about, you know, my thoughts on forms enhancing drugs. Uh, do I plan to use them and would I be open about my usage? Um... As of right now, I have no plans to use them. Um, it's my goals. I got started late in powerlifting. I'm pretty content with I'm never going to be, you know, one of the top three or four in any weight class. Uh, there's honestly no need for me to really jump on steroids with that being the case. As far as my feelings about them, uh, if you're an adult, and you want to use them go for it they're illegal uh, so take your chances uh, don't compete in tested federations as pertaining to powerlifting uh, there's so many untested feds why compete in a tested federation if you're on gear uh, don't be that fucking douche as far as it being illegal in major pro sports and shit like that and them guys using it millions of dollars online I'd fucking do it too so I don't blame them if I ever did jump on gear uh, I would no longer tell you guys that I'm natty. I would not be open about, you know, cycles and what exactly I'm using or not using because it is illegal. But I would, you know, gladly tell you guys, hey, I am no longer a natty, and that would be the end of that. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, this is the first of a couple questions from Drunk One Kangaroo. Would you shave, <laughs> would you shave your beard for good if it would bring your hairline back? For those of y'all there, um, can I get a like for my hairline being in 1080p now? I finally, now that 1080p is old news, have a 1080p camera. Um, no, I honestly don't give a fuck about my hairline. Um, I've had long hair in the past. I've had short hair most of my life. Uh, I knew I was destined for a receiving hairline young because of my father. Would not shave my beard for it. Uh, another one from Drunk One Kangaroo. <laughs> Are Lane Norton and Colin Doy fuck buddies? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, another one from Drunk One Kangaroo. Who has your vote for presidential elections? I don't vote, uh, call me un-American, not exercising my civic duty, uh, they're all a bunch of fucking liars and in it for themselves and not for the people, I really don't give a fuck, I just focus on me and my family, uh, trying to prosper and take care of us, uh, what's gonna happen is gonna happen with the elections, how many pairs of sneakers do you got, um, Probably around 20. I used to have a little more. I got rid of some. Probably around 20 or so. Uh, I've got retro threes, retro fours, retro fives, 
Retro 12s, Air Force 12 Fusions, uh, a second pair of 5s, I got two pair of 5s, um, Air Force 90s, all white, Air Force 1 mids, uh, white and Carolina blue Air Force One high tops, uh, Maury Stoudemire Air Force stats, uh, the Jordan, the retro 22 playoff editions. I think they're the 22 playoff editions. Um, trying to think, is there anything I'm missing from my sneakers? I got a pair of Dunks. Da, 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 da. Uh, I've got a couple pair of Team Jordans I wear just to kick around in. Of course, my powerlifting shoes. Um, drunk One Kangaroo again. Thank you, my man. You're like making this whole video have content. Uh, how astronauts fart in space. They fart in space, I guess. Does the vacuum take away from that? Are they all silent but deadly? Are they not deadly in space? I don't know. Uh, Tom Shufflebottom Fitness. Uh, what is your favorite thing to eat before you train? Assuming you eat before you train. Before I started cutting, anything high carb, high fat, uh, and in a good quantity. Oftentimes it would be like a Rice Krispie treat, like one of the long ones and a uh, king size. M&M and a energy drink, not a sugar-free one either. Uh, stuff of that nature. As of right now, it's 200 to 300 calories of mostly carbs and fats, a little bit of protein. Uh, be like a 15, 15 to 20 gram uh, worth of protein and a protein powder, like a banana or something like that. Or if I'm really fiending for some sweets, I'll get a not king size candy bar um, and a sugar free energy drink is what I'm going with for right now. But before that, fucking pretty much anything and everything that was high fat, high carb. And that wraps up this uh, Q&A video. So thank you guys for the questions there. Peace.